Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello and welcome to Pop Turnative. This is, of course, the talk show and podcast where we have digital discussions in the worlds of TV, film, news, sports, lifestyle, music, everything really depending on the guest. We talk about it all. As always, I'm your host, Premier Otis. All social media, you know me as PD Beats. The first episode of Mighty Ducks Game Changers on Disney Plus recently dropped, and we are speaking to someone that you will recognize from the show. She plays Lauren Gibby. Bella Higginbotham is with us. Bella, welcome to Pop Alternative. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to chat. I mean, the first episode was dropped. There was a lot of hype. A lot of people were excited about this. This is an iconic sports franchise. What was it like for you and your family to have the episode finally drop, Bella? It was so wonderful. I stayed up till like two in the morning to watch it with my friends and they all loved it. It's such an honor to be able to show my work with my family and friends and they're all really proud of me. Absolutely. Laura Gibby is going to be a very fun character we see that for the first we see that as soon as we meet you right it's it's tons of fun what was it like playing lauren gibby it was it was really interesting uh she's definitely an oddball of a character and i love that and i can relate to her some but in other ways it was kind of challenging like she dresses pretty different from me but that's just part of her charm and I feel like we're both pretty nerdy people. Uh, she likes Magic the Gathering and cosplaying and stuff, and I'm totally into that kind of stuff. <laughs> uh, but it was really fun. She's a really cool character to play. So that was actually my next question about, like, your interest in, like, nerd culture and geek culture. Um, you know, was that – so when you – when you what was the audition process like? And when you kind of see, you know, that character, did it say, like – Lord Gibby was nerdy and into Dungeons and Dragons. Like, what was that like? Yeah, uh, her character description originally had her really into Game of Thrones. But then, <laughs> like, everyone was like, you know, that might not be a great show for, like, a 12-year-old. So <laughs> they kind of changed it to more of a broad, I don't know, just nerdy sense. Now, I just need to ask, it's very important. You did not bring your nunchucks for this interview, right? I did not. Okay. Okay, I just, I, I had to ask. <laughs> um, did you get a lot of people talking about that that line? That's a great line. Yeah, actually, uh, my friends, <laughs> my friends laughed a lot at that one. <laughs> it's great. So I need to know, right? Mighty Ducks, hockey. We're going to get into it. The Game Changers is obviously sets around a hockey team. Like you join a new hockey team. But it's not just about hockey. It's about a lot of things, right? And we're going to talk about that. Totally. However... You know, it is a big sports franchise, right? That kind of, it's its insane to see the track record and how popular it was over the years. How does it feel to be part of this historic, nostalgic sports franchise, Bella? It is such an honor. I'm so excited to be able to bring, like, new things to the franchise, but then also try and have the same nostalgia, just good old memories feel to it. And I really hope the show does that for a lot of people. Uh, and ah, I just really hope that people like the show and it does what it's supposed to. Absolutely. What was, did, was there a little bit of familiarity or interest in hockey before getting this role? <laughs> no, something <laughs> that's, uh, that me and Lauren are alike in is we're not very sporty people. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have never really been interested in hockey. I mean, I know of the Nashville Preds, but that is the extent of my hockey knowledge uh, until this show. So when I got the audition, I was like, hockey, interesting. <laughs> I I didn't really think I'd get it because of that, because I was like, oh no. But I, I now really love hockey, which is surprising because I'm pretty small in person. So you wouldn't think me the like, hockey player type but I love skating I love stick handling it's just it's a really fun sport and I really enjoy it well I'm in Canada right so Mighty Ducks and hockey yeah. is like a huge part of, yeah, of, of our lives right so it, it's it's really exciting and Dylan Playfair who plays Coach T is actually a good friend of mine really yeah and he's been on the show and talking to him I mean 
you have to understand that's that that show was a big deal for him. Like yeah. <laughs> he loved the Mighty Ducks growing up. I did. <laughs> Which is really awesome in that point. But yeah, you know, this show is ju- not just about hockey. It's way more about that. It's about kind of being yourself. It's about these relationships between the teammates and everything. Um is that important, do you think, to kind of address that, yeah, it surrounds a hockey team, but there's so much more than that too, right, Bella? Of course, of course. Uh, hockey is like, it's a solid part of the story, but it's really only part of it because it's just, it's really about team building and making friends, even though you're from different backgrounds and just like different people interacting uh, from like one thing that connects them like hockey or like sports or what whatever it's just it's really interesting because I love seeing all the different groups coming together and I think it's really important to be able to show that and show that you have options like if if you don't really fit into one group, then there's always going to be other groups and you can like just find a connection, even if you're really different from someone. You know, I really didn't think about that as much, but you just answered that question. It made me think it's so true. Like the, the new, like the don't bothers, as we know, the current name of your team is the don't bothers. There's a little bit of everything on the don't bothers in terms of background and interests, which is that, that is a really good thing. Did, is that something you kind of noticed right off the bat when you're doing table reads or you're, you're filming it that, wow, like this, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of interests that play as well. Yes. Uh, as the story goes along, you'll see like different conflicts and different things that arise because of the different people hanging out. Uh, and It was also interesting to see within the cast because the whole cast were completely different, but we're all brought together through hockey and through this show. And it's, it's really cool to see the similarities between our characters and ourselves and just how we interact with each other. Absolutely. Now I need to ask you this question. I'm sure a lot of people have asked you this question before. What was it like working with Emilio Estevez? It was so cool. He was so nice. Some people are like, don't meet your heroes because they might not live up to your expectations. Meet Emilio Estevez. He is the (laughs) nicest person. Oh my goodness. He's amazing. That is awesome. Um, Yeah, no, it's funny because it's interesting too because this whole Mighty Ducks Game Changers was a process, like for the fan it was a long time coming. Like, we're excited that it's finally out there, right? Because you know how it is, Bella, right? Like an announcement comes out, right? That there's going to be a show. Emilio was attached to it, Lauren Graham, right? Yeah. Then you guys get announced for it. And then a concept comes out. So it's like sprinkles, right? And can Definitely. you believe it's finally like out now? It's crazy. <laughs> I know. They've really, they've really uh, just sprinkled sprinkled little little hints that's a good way of saying it right there's been sprinkles (laughs) exactly um i was definitely on the edge of my seat for whenever it would finally come out because uh i just we put all so much time and effort into it and with covid and everything it made set life just that much trickier to handle uh so i feel like finally having that first episode was just such such a like weight off our shoulders and like oh my gosh it's finally happening i know it took me a while to actually believe that it was happening yeah like sinking like, in yeah yeah the week before i was like yeah it's going to be a week oh my gosh but it never really hit me until 2 in the morning <laughs> whenever it came out uh i was just Ah, oh, it was crazy, but I love the first episode. It's so good. It's so much fun, and it's 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 building up, and it, but it, it makes us very curious to what's gonna happen. There's already it, there's already fan theories about characters, and it's been one episode. I know, right? <laughs> Which is awesome. <laughs> now you are part of the Mighty Ducks family, more specifically, you are part of the Disney family, more specifically, the Disney Plus family. How does it feel to be part of the Disney Plus family, Bella? It's crazy. I never once thought that I'd be, I like, 
be able to this is my first tv show that i've been in and so i i never expected that i'd be on disney plus like that's such an honor it's it's crazy it's the same place where i watch star wars it's <laughs> it's such a it's really great. <laughs> it, it, it's amazing. And it's interesting because we know, I want to ask you about learning experiences on the show, not the hockey stuff, because I know that's obvious. There's going to be learning experiences there because I know you guys yeah. talk to every cast members, there was training and hockey training and everything. But for you being kind of an actor in the craft of acting and storytelling, what were some learning experiences for you on the Mighty Ducks Game Changers, Bella? Well, it was really great to be able to work with uh dylan play for fair Emilio estevez lauren graham i feel like just being around them on set really gave me a chance to learn from them from their professionalism their great attitudes and just their acting i feel like just being able to see such great actors at work is such a great learning opportunity i mean i learned from the kids i learned from everyone on set on how to be a great actor. <laughs> Absolutely. You know what I love about Lauren Gibby? I just thought of it too, is it's even addressed, right? When, you know, we see you for the first time in the episode and you're saying, don't let them get to you. You know, I'm into this stuff and everything. Y your character is not afraid to just be herself. Isn't that, that's Definitely. a great thing about, about Lauren Gibby, right? Yeah. I feel like that's one of her really great qualities. She's just confident does not care what other people no, think. No, at will all. Say her I, mind. We, we saw that. Like, no yeah. care whatsoever. That's great. Exactly. <laughs> um, and I feel like she definitely has some, like, issues with, like, some things people say deep down. And, like, that's made her angry. And maybe she has some anger issues. <laughs> the can. But, the can. Yeah. <laughs> the can. Oh, the can. That, was, that was fun to film. Uh <laughs> But, I mean, that makes her human. Yeah. So. Absolutely. Bella, yeah. thank you so much for coming on Poptternative. I really appreciate thank it. Thank you. It's been, it's been wonderful. I'm really, uh, I'm really happy for you. The show is amazing. We just, we want more. You know what I mean? So now people can go watch the first episode right now on Disney Plus, And then every Friday, a new episode will be coming out. Yes. Which is amazing. And where can people follow you on social media to keep up to date with everything? Uh, I'm on Instagram at bella.higginbotham. Absolutely. And what's the risk? Like, I mean, it, it's been crazy, right? Like, there's so much love from all around the world, too. Is that some, that's something, I, before I, we wrap up, that's interesting, too, right? There's been kind of re a reception from all around the world. Have you noticed that as well? Yes, definitely. It's been crazy to go on Instagram and, like, everyone from all over the globe is, like, watch Mighty Ducks. It's great. And it's been really great to have such a wide fan base. Absolutely. Well, seriously, thank you so much for doing this. Congrats to you and the cast and the crew on Mighty Ducks Game Changers. And thank you. we can't wait for more episodes. We're so excited about it. <laughs> thank you. It's been a pleasure being on. For sure. Well, this has been Pop Turnip, youtube.com slash Pop Turnip for previous episodes. You can catch Bella Higginbotham as Lauren Gibby in Mighty Ducks Game Changers on Disney+. Plus. Until next time, this is Bella and Petey Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnip. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnip on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnip on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.